Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for visiting my channel. Today I am going to test wind suppression capabilities of DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. There is also LARA GoPro footage used in this video. Right after the start there was a strong wind warning. We can see that the gimbal is able to compensate for radical movement of the drone pretty nicely. Any sub 250 gram drone is going to be greatly affected by strong wind like this. That's why I'm focusing on smoothness and quality of the video. Let's watch together what kind of a footage you can expect from the drone in conditions like this. When the wind is grabbing the drone traveling through the air, it's being tossed around and video is being affected. Some more wind effect is also visible while the drone is hovering. Then as a main subject of this test I've selected this little tower. And I decided to let the drone orbit it on automatic mode. And as you can see the drone is able to finish the circle but it's stopping at certain points. And here we can see that the range of the gimbal is sometimes not enough to keep up with the tilting of the drone. While about 80% of the footage is going to be usable. Also the speed of the orbit is being affected, sometimes it's even stopping itself. But without me even touching any controls it's getting back on the desired trajectory and continues the test. This effect we observed on orbit trajectory is also visible on any straightforward flights. Mainly it is visible on closer subjects. We can see that anything that's further from the drone's camera is being beautifully captured. Be ready for subjects closer to the drone jumping around due to the wind effect. But anything further is going to be nicely leveled and smooth, even if you're flying sideways. Hovering is different story. There is one more detail I have to talk about. During the testing, I've realized that the drone is changing its behavior slightly. When I'm flying it on a calm day and I stop the movement, the drone is basically hovering instantly and holding its position right away. But today the reaction of the drone was different. It stopped the movement I was directing it to with my sticks immediately, as I'm used to. But then the drone was slightly grabbed by the wind and before it established its position and started hovering solid, it was drifting with the wind. When the wind is this strong you can easily move about 2-3 meters before it starts hovering. So be aware of that. Also be very careful getting closer to any trees because the branches are being tossed around by the wind and you can be swept away with your drone if you get in too close. Test your drone in the wind conditions start in the calmer days and gradually raise your challenge. After you gather some know-how about how it behaves only then send it to a real mission. Also be aware of moisture being usually carried by the winds your drone is definitely not waterproofed. 
make sure you understand all the dynamics before you start sending drone far away from you. When you travel in with the wind, it looks like it's not even draining any battery. That's because the drone doesn't have to work that much to move. But when you turn around and you are trying to return against the wind, the battery is being drained a lot faster. And here we are approaching the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are finding my production useful, please leave a like. And if you don't want to miss anything I'm going to do in the future, please leave your subscription. I've just started this channel, so any kind of a feedback will be greatly appreciated. Have a nice day and fly safe. Bye-bye.